My name is Alessandra Moctezuma, and I'm director at San Diego Mesa College Art Gallery. And we are um, at the exhibition of Tijuana artist Jose Hugo Sanchez, titled Transpoiesis. Jose Hugo Sanchez is um, a Mexican artist, um, and he has been working in different media. Uh, we invited him to Mesa College to show his work in print and printmaking. Um, he's following in an important tradition of uh, Mexican graphics that goes back to the uh, late 19th century with the famous Mexican engraver, Jose Guadalupe Posada. Uh, Guadalupe Posada was very famous for his images, specifically the Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead, uh, calaveras or skeletons that were playful and satirical at the same time. And he used images in bold black and white because they were uh, produced uh, for uh, broadsheets that were distributed to the wider population. So the tradition of Posada and his prints continued in Mexico through the 1920s into the 30s and 40s. Uh, with a group called the Taller de Grafica Popular, and it was uh, the uh, popular workshop of artists, of graphic artists. And, um, and then it continued into the 70s and the 80s with some artists that use uh, uh, print media and posters to bring uh, um, about issues that were important uh, in terms of social awareness and, and uh, political um, uh, awareness. Um, so Jose Hugo takes some elements from this tradition uh, which used uh, stark uh, black and white contrast, strong silhouettes, and um, uh, playful line, and he uses it in his prints. And what is unique about uh, Jose Hugo Sanchez is that he takes this tradition and he um, explodes it into a large monumental pieces. So rather than doing a print that is the size of a magazine or a newspaper, he makes this print huge scale. So in the gallery right now, we have six banners that are all printed with a woodcut uh, process. And they are printed um, six feet wide by 16 feet long. And, um, and they are part of actually 33 banners that he created for the cultural center in Tijuana, Secut. Uh, and they were on view a few years ago. So, so he creates this very large prints. He also works with materials that are um, uh, less expensive that are very affordable. So the large prints are made on brown paper. Um, and then he also plays with the idea of the print that becomes a silhouette and, and the print uh, plate that becomes the art piece. So also around the, um, the gallery, we have um, installed, we have hung about four large scale uh, woodcut plates uh, that he uses and he, um, he actually cuts them out so that you have the contour of a Virgen de Guadalupe, uh, the patron saint of Mexico, or the contour of a Statue of Liberty that has become a skeleton, or the contour of a Mickey Mouse that is half uh, playful mouse and half military tank. And so in his work, he also plays a lot with popular icons. Uh, they're icons that come from American culture and from Mexican culture. And they also combine images that are from high art and from low art. Um, he's also an artist that works uh, and incorporates um, co very contemporary traditions. So you will notice that in some of the large scale banners, uh, prints, uh, he's used spray paint and so that uh, makes um, a reference to some of the street art that we see today, and it con combines the two, the tradition of graphics that dates back to Posada, but even go back into the, you know, to the Renaissance tradition of printmaking with something that is very much part of the 20th century where they used the spray can artists. Art. Um, and then the other thing that we can notice in the show is that he um, he's created a series of sculptures, and they are made up of uh, pieces that repeat themselves, and they're almost um, dizzying in the patterns, and he combines them in a puzzle-like effect, 
Um, and he's also made out these sculptures out of materials that are non-precious. So one of them is black and white and is made out of um, cardboard that is primed and painted with black ink. And the other one is made up of the kind of model parts that you would get in a place like Michael's, but it's reconfigured into an abstraction of a kind of Chinese dragon. Some of the work also comments on a situation right now uh, in Mex both Mexico, the United States, and other parts of the world. There's one particular piece that combines uh, a canvas with the image of a rifle. Uh, and then in front of it, he's created a sculpture well, he, where he has wrapped an actual gun with uh, cord and um, plastic chickens, miniature plastic chickens. And, and he's making a comment on violence that exists both, you know, Mexico with a lot of the drug violence, but also here in the United States with the senseless shootings that are happening. And so he's trying to bring awareness to the fact that, you know, that we have to do something about this and, and, and be aware of that. Um, and so it was exciting to bring Jose Hugo Sanchez to Mesa College because the artist could see the different ways and that in, in that he uses the materials to comment on very important issues. Besides being um, an artist that works um, in, um, in, in, in traditional media of you know, printmaking and sculpture, he's also an innovator uh, when it comes to performance art. Uh, Jose Hugo Sanchez, Sanchez worked with a great uh, performance artist like uh, Guillermo Gomez Peña who actually uh, got a MacArthur Genius Award and was working here in San Diego, in the San Diego area in the 1990s. And so from Guillermo Gomez Peña, he explored the technique of, you know, creating a persona, shifting in different languages as he's performing, um, trying to tap into the indigenous roots, uh, and, and, and bringing awareness again of, of certain issues of of social importance. And so um, following this brief introduction, we will actually cut into um, his performance, uh, which he did here at Mesa College on October 15th. And, um, and you will get a little bit of a sampling of uh, that uh, type of work. And thank you so much. My verse is the revolver of my soul. My bones are pure cosmic decolonization. My sex and blood are pure human agency. My tongue is a fork of nations. My body is my ancestral language. Therefore, I migrate and immigrate from every nation. This is the core of my destination. My heart bleeds out slavery. My human dignity cracks down. Murder and rape now. Cash money talks, money talks. The green color of God we trust. The cops, the capitalism, wiping my ass and yours too. Digital black mass, media trends, and fashion. Families for sale, women for sale, children for sale, and men for cheap and day. The world spins like a Russian roulette. 
tanks, bombs, shooting guns in the stars, gender, race, and class, laugh. <laughs> All you want, push, wake up, wake up, push up the social class, the stratification of the mass, that the ghettoization from this south north legacies of system destroying families life from the bubble house to the globalization from offshoring outsourcing more than few less for more more for the few less for the more the axis mundi is cracking down yeah Migration, migration, the refugization, the occupation, and the weaponization. The border worldization kills mother children around the world, running, 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 running like a stem peak. Human survive, human survival, the foundation of human nature, it's collapsed. There is no antidote, no human agency, no cure, no escape. My vision is blurry. I can see. I can see. I can see. I open my eyes and I see blood and murder. I see blood falling from the sky. The sky is crumbling down like a falling angel. We hold hands. Now we bleed our slavery out. Oh, thousands of years to decolonize these bodies from the 1930s depression all the way to the 1905 dangerous, dangerous and degenerate recession. The hands are full of, my hands are full of, full of grenades. Underclass, unemployment, social class, the matrix of domination is thirsty, is thirsty. Her fangs are bleeding. Hands of working class like chances, the World Bank, the international phone are dropping the bombs. Or innocent people, Syria, Afghanistan, and Iraq, Palestine. Youth shooting up schools, short stone church, dripping blood, cooks black, hanging blacks. Meanwhile, history is upside down. The cartography of human nature is ripped, torn apart. Please, can someone hear Una broma por el amor de Dios. Full of sarcasm, irony. Please, please, let's send a postcard to Donald Trump. Let's send a postal card to the IRS. A postal card, a chichi one, like this. <laughs> Police ourselves, police the other, 
just to make sure we're not in fear. Fear, fear, fear is the name of the game. Fire drills on schools, fire drills on shopping centers, fire drills on churches, fire drills on supermarkets, fire drills in your room, fire drills in your dreams, fire drills in your car, fire drills in your mind. Fear, fear, fear. What kind of society we became after the 9-11? We become a society of shootings, of racism, of intolerance, of rape, of murder, of racism. And racism, by the way, is alive. Alive more than ever. Against blacks, against women. In the name of El Verbo, Errate Verbo, the global market is there. The, the cheapest Cornish pastille, este mundo es pequeño full of ethno-cyber symbionts, ploy, enjoy the full pantheon of these authentic cultural experiences, transform into your ethnicity of choice, engage yourself in this fun of power games. This is an open season. Welcome to the heart of my pantheetic showcase. This is the place, the altar of the world of capitalism, featuring yourself. Game on, video. You can fire your machine gun to a lie. Mexican, to a lie. Palestinian, a lie. Black, a lie. Children and a lie. Woman. Everyone, everyone can shoot. Everyone can play the shooting video game. Why not? But please don't be fooled. There is plenty game video games for everyone. <laughs> Dear audience, thank you for spending and expanding a few minutes of your beautiful time and this performance, this transpoiesis performance. I love you, all of you. Actually, this is free. This exterra libris, this performance, this conceptual land, this conceptual land, excuse my tone, my articulation. You are welcome to participate. Anybody there in the audience show us how to place a condom in the finger? No one. Anybody in the audience can recitate a poem in Spanish, in English, in lenguas, somebody? No one? One? For Yotzinapa? No. Can somebody dance Sandunga? Ay, Sandunga. Sandunga, mamá. No llores. No, Sandunga. Or dance born in America, or simply just take your clothes off. Just take your clothes off, come on. Let's all of us decolonize our beautiful body from transnational globalization. Let's decolonize this beautiful body from pornography, from racism, from class, from gender, from fascism, from capitalism, from enslavement, from fear, from xenophobia, from crime, from drug trafficking, from television, from injustice, from our broken hearts. Let's decolonize this machism this stress, I promise you, will be cured, will be healed. Real quick, let's go to Mexico. Please allow me to come. You know, don't be, don't have fear. Cross with me the border, the other side. 43 students from Ayotzinapa killed by the natural government. More than 300 women from Juarez killed by the narco government. In Mexico, tenemos niños que son refugiados. In Mexico, we have children that are refugees. Not only Syrians, but in Mexico. Oh my caramba. Enrique's juries. Sounds familiar. We have a president that is not only stupid, but ignorant. We have a children's, we have children's that are being forced to become narcos, seduced by the sicarios to kill people. Five, 15, 14, eight years old children seduced by, by the narcos force these children to become sicarios, to become the new junior narcos. Isn't it that fun? Isn't it, that, isn't it like awesome? Our children, sicarios, man, real cool. So I can have my banda, my narco corrido, bato, you know, my beat. I can cruise in my Chevy. 
That'll be cool, isn't it? Yeah. My dear Californicos, Aztlánicos, my vatos de este lado, my carnales de lenguas, do you know that in California we speak 88 languages? Do you know that California in the 2050 as equal as the whole country we're going to be the 30% of the citizens of this country? Latinos? Bueno, y para variar ahí les va, ahí les va un corrido del, del Chapo Guzman. Anybody know who's the Chapo Guzman? Our saint? Our beloved saint, right? I mean, we love more the Chapo Guzman than our president. How weird is that, right? You know how he escaped? Or how he just walked out of the jail? Maybe... Peña Nieto just was holding his hand. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, some of the, the this, this polizon, this big guard, this guy, macho guy, were holding, escorting him, you know, and an helicopter was waiting for him outside. It's just like a mystery, isn't it? <coughs> way, 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 way back there, there's a little man, un hombre pequeñito, and he came to this little town. And the sun was way over there. And the people were dying because they were, you know, they were cold. They, they never felt the sun, you know, their energy. And this little man came, this little man came to this town and said to these people, I'm going to do something. And the rest of the people said, what are you going to do, little man? Well, I have, I have, I have this spoon. This spoon, this spoon, this spoon. Right. And I'm going to move this mountain that is being placed here, and you guys cannot get the, the rays of the sun. And the people were laughing. How are you going to do that? How are you going to move the mountain with a spoon, with a little spoon? And the little man said, Well, somebody has to start, right? What did God said to Adam and Eve when they were expelled from the paradise? Don't forget to pay your taxes! <laughs> what did ca capitalist roach tell to this flea, this pulga? If you don't suck their blood, I'm going to exterminate you! The last one. How do you cross an elephant? How do you cross an illegal elephant across the border? Can somebody tell me how you cross an illegal elephant across the border? You call Donald Trump. No, you painted white. <laughs> you painted white. Anyway, some of these texts, some of these narratives are just trying to, you know, to approach you, to get something from you, some, 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 some uh, reflection, you know. This is meaningless. This, 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 this is meaningless without you. You know, um, I'm, I, I hope that uh, this text, this lyrics, this, you know, touch you in a way and uh, make us reflect a little bit. You know, um, because sometimes I ask myself, you know, um, it is pertinent to keep doing art and dress up real weird like that, you know, put this headdress and people are going to think you're crazy, right? <laughs> Where this Mexican guy, you know, dressed up like a like a penacho, like a nasty, you know? <laughs> Let's deport this guy, right? But I, I, I'm still there to ask questions. For example, you know, what is our new role as a citizen in this era? <coughs> what is our new role as citizens in this era? What is our... What are the new borders do you want, that we want to cross? Do we want to cross, actually, do we want to cross borders? What will be the new borders that we want? Is there a new borders that we want to cross? What binds our 
otherwise extremely diverse ethnic identities, aesthetics, and community concerns. It is, per it is perhaps the search for radical tolerance, for a new ways of presenting and distributing important ideas, or is the need to find a new spirituality emerging out of the debris of our recently fallen world? Are we able to recuperate the possibility of change society as ourselves? It is possible to make a politically pertinent art nowadays when we are bombarded by TV, sex are being exoticized. I mean, we cannot even make no more sex because Hollywood and TV are burning them already. You know? There's no more pornography. There's no pornography. We talk about five-year-old, ten-year-old about pornography on TV, you know, MTV, Xbox, it's right there. There's no amusement, it's just everything is there, you know. And we still are society that are torn apart. Very individualistic, even though we have iPhones. You know? We don't look for the other. We don't do this human agency for the other. When we hold our iPhones, we don't think that maybe a girl a mother in China and in, 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 in Korea or in some other country made this in a, this maquilladora and something. That's why we have the privilege of carrying that device, this machine that we are so addicted to. When do we make conscious of that differences? That we live on the expenses of others. This life. We're not bombarded, like I said, like the Syrians, you know, other countries by just weapons. And I'm not anti I'm pro humans. Weapon, weapons of lethal extermination are being built, created by this country, by Russia. You know, big capitalist countries. Why not investing you know, in education and health? Many, many things that can be invested, those trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. So my reflection, I hope it's your reflection too, you know, because I'm like yours. I'm like you. I'm yours, and in a way, you're mine. Therefore, we exist. Therefore, we are here. We don't know each other, but I know you, and you know me. We are not conscious, but we are connected. We are connected. And I hope, in a way, my thing is, I hope when we leave this, when we saw that thing over there, this, those images, you know, that, is, that, that they go inside of you and make us reflect, you know, a little bit. You know, and, it might happen. <clears throat> and if we can make a little difference in our homes, in our houses, with my wife, with my sister, with my mother, with the other, the one in the street, you know, next time when I see the other, I'm going to say, hi, you know, hi, you know, bless you, you know, bless your heart, you know, bless your heart, right? Right? Bless your heart. When we walk on the street and see the other, we're going to bless our heart. We're going to bless our hearts. We're going to do this human agency. We're going to say, you know, beyond those things, beyond capitalism, fascism, rape, all the terrible things, we have this human agency that we can make a difference as humans. We can make a difference in this planet. We can make a difference, you know. Um, so. So that's what I want to ask you, you know, anybody, you know, um, how do you feel being here in your job? The other day we did a performance, you know, and somebody stepped up and said, you know what, I hate my job, <laughs> you know, and I hate a freaking supervisor, man, it's in my back, this mother, <laughs> and my teacher, bam, you know. Man. Oh, and that, the clown, the, 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 what the, Donald Trump? I hate that man. I want to make a piñata. <laughs> and beat him up, right? So the, the thing is this, you know, why can we do as a, as a humanity with this human agency that we have, you know, this gift of being alive and beat with the universe? And it's right now in our pots, in our nerves, in our column. Ah! Ah! I, 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 I thank you all of you for taking your time.
and being here and being part of this and come and, 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 and be patient with me. <laughs> None of you have left, right? I hope I'm not boring you, you know, with all this nonsense. Um, and um, and I hope this reflection really, really, really uh, makes makes something different in us. Uh, I was hoping for somebody to stand up, you know, but nobody wants to stand up. I guess. No, the other thing I, I saw this in the internet, and this this uh, guy that I admire. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. It's Alejandro Podrowski. He brings from the from the audience five people. Five people. Can some five people come here? Five. Just five here. Okay. Yeah, all of us here. All of you guys, come, 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 go. We need you here. We need you here. All right. This is what we do, right? This is this is an exercise of, of love, of love and connection. We're gonna take our time like this. Ah, right. But when we do that act, you know, the tongue, the one we taste, right? We taste. This is how we taste the food we eat, right? Uh, we're gonna connect in this cosmic act to the big, big, I call it, because I'm a feminist, by the way, to this mother conscious. <laughs> uh, so, we, can, I invite, we invite all of you to take your tongue and say, ah. Okay, one, two, three, hard. After nine months of being in the mother womb, the great effort that uh, the woman does to give birth is a, is a, is a, is an opening. It's like an interstellar door that opens through time and space. And then we hear a cry. And there, there's, there's this transformation, you know, this rupture. This aggressive thing, this violent thing, and and there is light. I try to copy that. Makes sense. Thank you. I was wondering, um, at the beginning of the performance, you did something like maybe these incantations in um, native languages, and I wanted to know how you found those words and how you learned some of those. Yeah, I, I study, I'm Mexican, I'm Mesoamerican, I'm Mestizo, and I teach and I study, you know, uh, the, uh, the ancestry of Mexico, back to the Archaic, Olmecs, Toltecs, Maya, Aztec, Zapotec, and all the, all the languages of, of, of native country. And especially in the north of Mexico, the Kumeyaay, Pai Pai, Pii, what the mean is, across the border in Tecate, they're about to disappear. And one of the things that the, the word teach from my grand grand grandfather is to keep that alive, to keep the root, to still have connection with your past in order to understand the future. Beyond internet, beyond iPhones, beyond the cyber, the cloud, beyond the cosmic, the root, the root to our ancestry, 
It's in the present. It's not in the, not in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, it's in the front. We have to open our eyes and see it and feel it and teach that to our kids, our children, our daughters and sons. Each other and practice that. I, I live in, I grew up in the border, and then I was imported from Mexico to the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was imported from the U.S. to Mexico. And then I said, oh my God, I don't have no country, you know? you know? I never met my father. You know, and then I said, where, where am I from, you know? So I have to, I, I was in the need to create this conceptual map, this territory, and I said, wow, art, oh, yeah. So I became this new territory where I can express, I can play, I can invent, I can research, you know, I can write my text, and I'm inspired uh, with students. <coughs> students in universities, college, high schools, they are like the fist and the heart and the knowledge of, of our, our here and now. So I'm committed to blood and spirit and flesh and everything that I am to pass it on to that in any way, in any place that I can. Even though sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy. But I'm hope. I have my hope open that doors will open. By doing it and doing it and doing it. When does, when does your bravery increase and when does your bravery increase? Your courage, when does it increase? We are, see, for example, the little girl that, uh, that was involved in the shooting in Oregon. Then my heart bleeds. You know, the shooting in the streets against my, my black American brothers. Then I bleed. Every time somebody die, I die a little part of them. I believe that. Every time that when my grandmother died, some part of me died. When my friend Jorge Andres died, you know, Michael Schnorr, I come part of my being died. So I'm um, little by little in this altar of giving and taking, we're dying a little bit, and we're transforming. This is so this is so quick, this is so fast. This is, so, this is a dream. So fast. So fast, you know. We need to see that. That this goes this gift. This great gift. It's so marvelous. It's so incredible. But it's fast. Somebody else? More preguntas? <laughs> More questions? Sorry to be so, oh, so serious, right? <laughs>